Some new details. Investigators say they've arrested a 17-year-old, charged him with manslaughter in the overdose death of another teen. The sheriff announced the arrest today. News 6's Molly Reed just spoke with him about the case. Sheriff Mike Chitwood says not only did one teen fatally overdose on these drugs, but he says the suspect has been tied to other recent issues where highly potent drugs have fallen into the hands of local teens. He supplies it all. Adderall, weed, you name it, he supplies it. And unfortunately, we have a 17-year-old that's dead because of it. 17-year-old Daniel Arvizzo now facing a manslaughter charge arrested over the weekend after the sheriff says they built their case. He says back on July 30th, a 17-year-old in DeLand was found dead after overdosing on fentanyl. Detectives finding text messages on the victim's phone showing he had bought drugs from Arvizzo numerous times. In, in, in our deceased own words, that was some powerful warn me next time. Well, there was no next time. He's dead. Chitwood says deputies made contact with Arvizzo shortly after telling him the victim had died from an apparent overdose. They weren't able to arrest him on charges for the death just yet. Chitwood says Arvizzo went on to keep selling drugs, and they found he was also connected to an incident in early July where he provided a laced vape pen to a DeLand High student who had a medical episode after smoking it. The sheriff says then on August 18th, the medical examiner report was complete on the dead teen, showing he had died from fentanyl toxicity city, allowing them to charge him with manslaughter. Well, what am I arrested for? Manslaughter. I mean, something you did cause someone to die. You cannot charge a juvenile with first degree murder based on the drug overdose. You can charge them with manslaughter. We did ask State Attorney LaRuzzo if that suspect could be charged as an adult. He says that is something they're still looking into. In Volusia County and Molly Reed getting results, News 6.